Hey guys, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today we're in Sequoia National Park hiking to Tokopa Falls. Tokopa Falls in Sequoia National Park is a 1200 foot waterfall that cascades over many levels and is a popular hike in the park. To get to the trailhead, you will take Highway 198 through the park and past the General Sherman tree. You will then turn towards Lodgepole Campground and drive back to where there is a large parking area. The Lodgepole Campground is currently closed and so we drove all the way to this part of the parking lot. That's as far as we can go and we're starting the four mile round trip trail to the waterfall. The hike is four miles round trip with 600 feet of elevation but it's an approachable hike that's not too difficult. The trail starts by heading along the water out of the parking area and crossing the bridge to get to the official trailhead. From there you'll be following the marble fork of the Kauia River pretty much all the way to the waterfall. It's already incredible with this river right here. The trail goes in and out of shade cover as you make your way back into the valley and it's relatively easy to follow the entire way with no real splits. Check it out, there's some wildflowers. In case you were wondering what this is, it's a buff so it actually protects me from the sun while hiking, but it's also a mask during this uh, COVID time. The trail is beautiful the entire time and there's lots of spots where you can take a break and sit by the water if you want to. Also, I would recommend going early if you go in the summer as there's a lot of people on this trail and it's a pretty popular one for the national park. It's a little warm today, but there's a nice breeze and we're going in and out of shade along the river. It's pretty hard to beat this trail. We're about a half mile in. Check out this moss. It goes all the way up the tree. We're about one mile in and we saw this rock right here. It's called the Watchtower and it's like 9,900 feet tall. Pretty cool. At around the one mile mark, you'll see the Watchtower, which is an imposing granite cliff that looks over the trail. There are many great views of the watchtower with the water flowing below it, and it was one of my favorite aspects of the hike. The watchtower has many routes for climbers, but there's also a hiking trail that goes around the backside. I've never done it, but I have to imagine the views are pretty great from the top. Check out this plant we saw. Let us know in the comments if you know what that is. This trail is absolutely incredible. We traded the river for this meadow. It's beautiful. Once you get to the last half mile of the trail, it starts using some switchbacks for elevation gain. Plus, you'll be leaving the tree cover and be walking across a lot of rocks. This is probably the toughest part of the trail, but again, this is not a super difficult trail and it should be a good hike for most people. Looks like there would be a waterfall there if there was more water. We're 1.7 miles in. We're getting some great views of the watchtower and we should be able to see the waterfall pretty soon. Here's our first view of the waterfall, peeking through right there. As you approach the 1200 foot waterfall, you'll get your best view of the entire waterfall from afar. We saw a few marmots here as we were making our way to the waterfall and definitely watch your backpack as they'll make their way through it for food. They are pretty cute though. You'll then continue to walk along the rocks with great views of the valley as you make your way to the base of the falls. Cool little narrow rock area up here towards the top of the waterfall. 
As you make your way along the rocks on the final tenth of a mile, you'll get great views of the entire waterfall and the watchtower to the right of you. You can see right there, there's people. That shows you how big this waterfall is. You can't see the entire waterfall from the base, but it's still impressive, and there are lots of rocks you can sit on to relax before making your way back to the car. This is a great hike in Sequoia National Park, and let me know what you think in the comments, and if you have other recommendations for places I should hike in Sequoia National Park in the comments as well. Now it's two miles back to the car for us. Thanks for hiking to the waterfall, and you can check out all my Sequoia National Park content in the description. We'll see you on the next video.